My name's Elizabeth. Um, I'm a survivor and uh, an artist in textiles. My art interest is essentially as a sewer. I've sewn all my life and so I feel very comfortable with textiles and I like experimenting with textiles. I've lived in the Hunter Valley most of my life. My family migrated from Europe to this area and we, st we pretty well stayed here. So I went to school here uh, and then went to Sydney for my professional education and, and then came back. I was really engaged in this project right from the very beginning when I came to a public meeting and, um, and straight away thought, no, I'd really like to create a piece. The thing that came to my mind first up was actually the title from Shame to Speaking Out because that was a process I was engaged in at the time. Uh, I then, as a member of the committee, suggested we have a series of workshops and that's where this piece had its genesis. So the piece is done in three panels. Uh, the first panel is that period of shame which lasted for about 50 years and not unlike a lot of other people who have been uh, impacted by clerical abuse, it can take a long time before you feel like you can put that shame aside and the Royal Commission was probably a trigger for me to say uh, I've done this for long enough and and so I incorporated both elements and symbols of the church but also the figure which is fully embroidered and I'm really proud of this figure um, uh, it, to depict that that long period that I held on to that shame. The second panel is my involvement with the Catholic Church in 2017 after the Royal Commission in order to, to be heard, uh, to generate some sort of an apology from the church and also the negotiation period, which was really quite tra re-traumatising. It was very difficult. I felt, uh, didn't feel strong or confident. However, got through it and then felt somewhat adrift after that. I felt like I had told a story that was important and I thought reflected uh, a cohort of people who may not be as well represented amongst clerically abused victims and that is women. And so this last panel which is my capacity to speak out and to feel uh, somewhat phoenix, somewhat much more confident in myself is depicted in the pretty fantastic sort of a bird at the end.